Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Ace Pilot 2K7 back with another Emerge NYC video. Now, if you guys are new to the series, basically this is a new game that's in development. You can find it on Steam. I'll link it down below in the video description. But basically, it's based, based off of New York City, the borough of Manhattan, as you can see here if we look at the map. And um, pretty much it's based on the first responders of New York City. So we have FDNY, NYPD, EMS, etc. So today we're going to be rolling as Engine 49. Uh, we also have Tower Ladder 68 with us as well. And um, yeah, we should have some fun today, guys. So I'm interested to see what exactly we get into. The game has has a lot of updates since the last time we played, too. So very excited to see what type of fires or any emergency calls that we get today. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the uh, firehouse here. I'm going to first person. And where are we at? Here we go. Whoops. There we go. All right, so let's close that. And first person actually is a lot better now. It looks like they have updated and fixed a lot of things that was causing issues before. So that's pretty cool. So we have 68 truck, uh, engine 49. We have all of our equipment here. Very, very nice. Very nice firehouse. So if you guys do enjoy the episode, definitely do me a favor, guys. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. And I'm going to try to do some more Merge NYC videos. I, I don't think we have played this game in like over a month. And I do apologize about that, guys. This is a really fun game. And I'm going to really try to do some more episodes. So if you guys do enjoy, definitely let me know again by hitting the like button. Leave some comments down below. And uh, if you're new, make sure you guys subscribe. All right. So I'm just give you guys a little tour of our firehouse here. They actually added a basement, too. I'll show you guys the basement as well. Alright, so here's the second floor. Very nice. The game's also running a lot better as well. I do have to try out multiplayer and see how multiplayer is running. Because maybe we could get some multiplayer games in. Because single player seems to be running really well so far. Station looks awesome. Very nice, very nice. Oh, we got sleeping quarters now. Look at this. I haven't been here in a while, so some of you guys, this may not be new, but I haven't played in a while. So it's new to me. Oh, we got our gym area. Very cool. Very, very cool. Another bathroom. Very nice. All right, so let's uh, get ready to start our day. And again, we're going to be rolling on the engine today. Maybe next time we'll do an episode, we'll run with one of the ladders. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. So anyway, guys, we're just going to sit tight and wait for a call to come up on our MDT. But um, for now, we're just going to hang out and chill. Engine. All right, looks like we've got an EMS call, guys. Unresponsive mail. All right, let's head to that. Let's roll. Alright, so it's going to be our first run of the day. And again, it's going to be an EMS call that we're responding to. Check the address. It's gonna be off the fifth. And I actually never did an EMS call before in the game, so I'm kind of curious to see how this goes. Come on, people, move over, move over. But seriously, come on, come on, New York City drivers, man. 
Alright, the call should be right over here somewhere. You guys see anybody? I'm not seeing anybody yet. Call came in about right over here somewhere. I see a door open. Let's investigate over there. Maybe they're inside. Yep, I see a lot of people. Oh my goodness. Come on, traffic. Alright. Normally I wouldn't park like this, but they're going to keep hitting us if we don't. Alright, let's get out and see what we are working with here. Put that away. Put that away. Okay, here's the unresponsive mouse. Excuse me, excuse me. Alright, let's see what's going on with him here. His status is deteriorated on the bottom right. Alright. Some notes and stuff. Dang, we really need our EMS bag here. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get this thing open somehow. Or else this guy is not gonna have a chance here. Okay, guys, I, I, I forgot about this menu here, so <laughs> we'll do that. And we'll grab our, let's see, equip. There we go, EMS bag. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Alright, let's get this inside. Hopefully he's still okay. Let's check. Oh, watch out. Excuse me. Okay, he's still somewhat okay here. So let's go ahead and drop the bag. Okay, don't we have to put this down first? Sorry, I'm like, no idea what I'm currently doing right now. <laughs> Alright, let's just start treating him. I don't even really know what's wrong with him here, but let's start with this. This is why we're not really a paramedic. To use the MS bag while equipped, drop the bag or have it equipped in the immediate proximity, proximity of the patient. Okay. Alright, sorry the views are kind of hard here to see what's going on. I think I'm possibly giving him CPR. I really can't see though. Alright, we're going to need to get an ambulance out here. Before this guy dies in my treatment. Okay. Okay, I, I'm, I think we're doing CPR. I'm really not too sure what I'm doing right now. It looks like I'm doing something to him though, so I guess I'm doing CPR. We need that ambulance here on a rush. This guy is in and out. All right, can I stop? See, I'm, I'm really not good with the EMS side stuff, so I didn't really know what to even give him here. Alright. Let's see if I can put this bag down again. Oh, there we go. X. Okay. Should have just known to press X. Alright. Alright, let's see what else we could do with him. I really want to start giving him meds because I really don't even know what to even give him. IV. Don't know what this is. Cervical collar. Incubate. Yeah, I, I really don't even know what the best thing to do with him right now. Honestly, I think he just needs to be transported. So, oh wait, we could work on different parts of his body. It looks like too. I do apologize, I'm like not too good at EMS stuff. So what we're gonna do, let's get an ambulance out here and just try to transport them. Alright guys, so we're making our way across town. Don't hit me. Come on. And let's see if we can save this guy with the ambulance.
we should be able to take six up. I mean, I'm sorry, fifth up. there guys let me know down below in the comment section if you guys think this guy is gonna survive or not I'm at to study up on my EMS knowledge here Okay, guys, so we're pulling up on scene. All right, let's see what happens there. Hopefully, traffic doesn't hit the ambulance, too. Let's set the parking brake. All right, guys, so we're going to apply the backboard to him. And then we should be able to get him onto the actual stretch of now, so... Let's try that. Okay. Okay, there we go. So we're making progress, guys. <laughs> All right, let's uh, lift the stretcher up. And let's try to put him into the ambulance. Now, I really didn't even do a good job at treating him. We probably ate I gotta like read the, uh, there's a good tutorial or manual, so I'll try to read that so next time I'll know like how to properly treat this person. I'm guessing he was choking. It looks like they were in a restaurant, so I don't really know though. Alright, let's put him in. Alright, he's inside. Alright, let's get him to the hospital, guys. So, 49 could go back into service. And, uh, yeah, we're going to run this guy to the hospital. It should be right down Ninth Avenue past 42nd. Okay, that's real. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. I'm gonna have to make uh, this next left turn. Alright, 
Come on, people. Luckily, there's no parked cars. If there was parked cars, we would not be able to get around all of these, all of this traffic here. Alright, so this is the first time I ever brought anybody here. Come on, move. Oh my goodness. I'm just getting bullied by traffic right now. Alright, so like I said, I never really brought anybody here, so I don't know if we could actually, like, take them inside or anything, but I guess we will try. Normally I have, like, a drive through kind of thing in real life, but I guess we're just going to take them in from the streets. <laughs> Why he got his hands up? Wait. I don't even know what button I just did to do that. Ah, right, great. Alright, let's take him out. I have no idea what button I just pressed to do. Now my hands are just in the air. Like, I just don't care. Okay. Come on, don't crash on me. We made it this far. Alright, so we're at the hospital. Like I said, I'm not sure if anything's gonna happen once we get here. Yeah, we're here. Alright, I don't think there's anything we could do. Let me look and see. Okay guys, so yeah, um, all we pretty much have to do is just drop him off here and uh, yeah, he's pretty much good to go. Okay, so we'll just pretty much leave him here and we'll get rid of that ambulance and I guess we'll, uh, we'll go back to 49 and head back to the firehouse. I'll let dispatch know we're tonight. And yeah, that was a pretty interesting run. I gotta definitely work on my EMS knowledge, though. But, um, yeah. I'm warming up, though, guys. I'm warming up. It has been a while since I played, but we're, we're, we're gonna figure it out. So we'll go ahead and put this back. Nope, I wanna put it back. Oh, I just saw it. Okay, there we go. It spawned the second one, but that's okay. So we'll close that. And let's get back on duty. So as we get better with the EMS side of things, we'll probably be able to handle this call a lot more faster and a lot more efficiently because we did a lot of things wrong but you know it's, it's a learning experience so hopefully you guys did enjoy and like I said we'll head back to the station and we'll see if we get any more calls today all the way uptown so we ain't going to that <laughs> it seems like all the lights are just green it's like just a free-for-all alright let's turn our lights on
And they're still gonna hit me. Okay, they didn't hit me, thank God. Set the parking brake, lights off, engine off, and we're back at the station. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I kind of struggled through EMS, but I kind of learned it a little bit. So I think next time we get an EMS call, I'll definitely be able to handle it a lot better. Um, this time, but like I said guys, let me know what you guys want to do next I'm definitely gonna do a fire call next because I definitely do want to respond and fight a fire So definitely want to do a fire call, but let me know should we do it as an engine or a ladder or Rescue squad whatever you guys want to see but anyway guys. Thank you guys for watching Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one Peace